Hello viewers, today we are going to talk about polymer crystallinity. Polymer crystallinity is the degree to which there are regions where polymer chains are aligned with one another. Crystallinity occurs when linear polymer chains are structurally oriented in a uniform 3D matrix. Increased crystallinity is associated with an increase in rigidity, tensile strength and opacity. Crystalline polymer has crystalline portion and amorphous portion. Crystalline portion is in the lamellae ordered regions where polymer chains folded back on themselves. Amorphous portion is outside the lamellae and between the layers where polymer chains are randomly coiled and entangled. The factors that influence degree of crystallinity are polymer structure and intermolecular forces. Degree of crystallinity depends on chain length, chain branching, degree of crosslinking, tacticity, and copolymer. Longer polymer chains have increased crystallinity due to greater van der Waals forces. Polymer chains without branching also increases crystallinity as they can pack closely together. Crosslinking between polymer chains increases crystallinity too. Moreover, crystallinity also increases with increased intermolecular forces. A copolymer is formed when two or more different types of monomers are linked in the same polymer chain. Alternating in block copolymer with regular arrangement are prone to crystallize compared to random and graft copolymer. The four structures of copolymer are random, alternating, block and graft. Two monomers that are randomly ordered are called random copolymer. In an alternating copolymer, each monomer is alternated with others to form an ABAB pattern. In block copolymers, more complex repeating structures like AABBAA pattern are possible. Graft copolymers are created by attaching chains of second monomer type on the backbone chain of first monomer type. A polymer's molecular structure strongly affects crystallinity. For example, syndiotactic polystyrene has a very regular and orderly structure with phenyl groups on its alternating sides of linear carbon backbone. Hence, it can pack very easily into crystals as the backbones can come close together without phenyl groups in the way. In comparison, atactic polystyrene is very amorphous as it has no such order. Intermolecular forces are useful in forming crystals. For example, polar amide groups in the backbone chain of nylon 6-6 strongly attracts each other to form strong intermolecular hydrogen bonds which holds chains together. Those chains form crystals as they are so symmetrical. XRD is used to determine degree of crystallinity. Regular arrangement of atoms and molecules produce sharp diffraction peaks while amorphous region produces broad halos. Diffraction pattern of polymers contains a combination of both. Degree of crystallinity is estimated by integrating relative intensities of peaks and halos. Here is an example on how to calculate degree of crystallinity. In closing, this is the list of our references. Thank you.